let's look at determinants. Determinants of a two by two matrix. We're gonna start very simple, okay? Just with a two by two today. You'll work on the three by threes tomorrow. But this is what it's gonna look like. So if you're looking for a determinant, it might say DET, meaning determinant of this matrix. And a matrix has these little bars around it, uh, brackets, big brackets, so you can recognize it. So what is a determinant? Well, a, term, a determinant is a very useful number that we associate with a square matrix. So all the, to, in order to find a determinant, it has to be square, meaning it has to be a two by two or a three by three or four by four, but it has to be square. And really, I'm not kidding. It's just, that's the official definition. And you'll find out we do use it with inverses which you're gonna to learn tomorrow. Okay, so let's think about our full, our um, interactive notebook. This is gonna be page eight. So go ahead, if you need to, stop the video, put at the top a two by two determinant. And this is how you find a determinant given the matrix. Now there's, there are two different notations for finding the determinant. And I showed you on the first page, DET, the determinant of the matrix, or you, it might even look like this, where you've got four elements, it looks like it's a matrix, but notice it's got like absolute value bars on it. That also means find the determinant. So how do you find the determinant of a two by two? It's very easy. You just take A times D. So you take this diagonal, A times D, and you subtract B times C. So either one, you do the same thing. So let's, let's try to practice a couple. Okay, so I'm just gonna take one times five, which is five, and I'm gonna subtract the other diagonal, three times two, which is six. Oops, that jumped on me. So five minus six is negative one. So negative one is my determinant for this two by two matrix. Now let's look at the second one. This one doesn't have the word DET in front of it, but it does have the absolute value bars. So this is also asking me for the determinant. So let's multiply A and D. So that's 21. And we're going to subtract 2 times 2, which is 4. So the determinant of the second matrix is positive 17. Now, let's look at the third one. This matrix is a 2 by 3. So I don't have an A and a D and a B and a C because I have this whole other column over here. So this one does not exist. It's not possible. You could even put not possible. So when you don't get a square, you can just stop and say, hey, that one doesn't have a determinant.